now i will learn a new topic that is the dimensional analysis in class 11 so first there is a need to know the meaning of dimensions total there are seven fundamental quantities are there such as length mass time temperature electric current luminous intensity and quantity of matter these are the seven dimensions of the physical world okay and these are written in the square brackets these are written in the square brackets i will illustrate this through an example suppose volume very well you know volume is length length into breadth into height length into breadth into height so length as a unit of length is meter so these things are written in terms of the fundamental quantities so the dimension for the length is l for the breadth breadth is also in terms of meter so length height height is also in terms of meter so it is also written in l so l to the power 3 this is said to be the dimension of the volume once again i will repeat dimensions means these are written in terms of the seven fundamental quantities that is length mass time temperature electric current luminous intensity and quantity of matter so mostly in class 11 we will be using only three only m l and t m for mass l for length and t for time so this is how the dimension of the volume is expressed area second example is the area area is length into breadth okay so the dimension for the area is the dimension for length is l the dimension for breadth is l so again the dimension for this one area is l square fair we will take the simple example velocity velocity as you know very well it is defined as displacement displacement upon time okay so displacement is something length okay so its dimension is l and the dimension for the time is as i have told you m l and t m for mass l for length and t for time so dimension for the velocity will be l t to the power minus 1 okay now let us see some more example acceleration acceleration what is acceleration acceleration is change in velocity upon time taken so velocity the dimension of velocity we have find out earlier so it is l t to the power minus 1 okay next dimension of time so what is the dimension of acceleration l t to the power minus 2 okay now force in class 9 you might have learned about force force is defined as mass into acceleration if you know the formula then dimensions can be found very easily so dimension for the mass is m it is written in the brackets and the dimension for the acceleration acceleration we have found earlier l t to the power minus 2 so it is m 1 l 1 t to the power minus 2 okay next is the density density what is density it is defined as mass per unit volume so mass the dimension for the mass is m and what is the formula for the Uh, dimension sorry dimension for the volume we have calculated that is l cube very simple so it is m l to the power minus 
in this way dimensions can be found if we know the formula okay very simple very easy also uh, let us take some more examples such as momentum momentum so what is momentum it is defined as product of mass into velocity so the dimension of mass is m and velocity the dimensions of velocity we have calculated earlier l t to the power minus 1 so the dimension of momentum is m l t to the power minus 1 in this way you can find out the dimensions of every quantity okay now what is the uses of next question arises in our mind okay, that what are the uses of dimensional analysis so there are three uses of dimensional analysis are there firstly to check the correctness of the formula whether the formula is right or wrong then it can be checked with the help of the method of dimensions okay the second most important use that derivation of the formula formula can be derived by the use of the dimensional analysis and thirdly any formula means any units can be converted from cgs to si unit or si to c means units are converted from one system to the another system with the help of the dimensional analysis so these are the three important uses and one is definitely asked in the exam <coughs> next is the limitations limitation it gives no information about the dimensionless constant like the exam value of pi the value of pi cannot be calculated through the dimensional analysis the value of e exponent that is also cannot be calculated the value means any constants it, it gives no information about the constant values we cannot derive the formula containing trigonometric constant if any of the formula contains trigonometric constant such as sin theta cos theta tan theta etc there means these cannot be derived using the method of dimensions thirdly it gives no information about the whether the quantity is a scalar or vector so these are the certain limitations of the dimensional analysis in the next part we will learn how to check the correctness of the formula